Ant-Man 3? I'm not sure. I mean, I know Marvel, in most superhero movies, they like to have the solo superhero get a trilogy before, you know, they go in a different direction or whatever. And Ant-Man, you know, played by Paul Rudd, he's only had two so far. He had the first Ant-Man, which came out, I forget, I think 2015. And this, Ant-Man and the Wasp, the sequel that he shared as co-lead with Evangeline Lilly as the, as the Wasp. You know, Ant-Man being Paul Rudd. But, you know, Paul Rudd and other people in this movie have given interviews where they say things like, I don't know if we're getting an Ant-Man 3, like, or maybe. And usually it's a bit more definitive that they're going to do, or it's a foregone conclusion that they're going to do a third movie for a superhero that's already gotten two. But, you know, I do have reasons, if they're being sincere. I know, you know, cast and crew, actors and directors and studio has they lie to the audience and the press all the time. <laughs> But if he's telling the truth and they aren't sure if they're going to do Ant-Man and Wasp or in Ant-Man 3 or Ant-Man and Wasp 2 or whatever, I have some ideas why. Because for one thing, the Ant-Man movies, although I've liked both of the Ant-Man movies, they're some of the lowest performing financially in the MCU. So Marvel might not really see much of a financial incentive to make a third one. I mean, I'm sure Ant-Man and the Wasp will make a profit, but so far it's not really making as much money as you would expect an MCU movie to make. I mean, I think right now it's only made $400 million worldwide, and I think it's open in most countries, but it hasn't opened in China yet. So, you know, China might give it another $100 million at least. You know, it doesn't have a China's, Chinese release date yet, but, you know, Marvel has a good relationship with China, and so, you know, when Ant-Man and Wasp opens there, maybe they will deliver it, you know, a lot of money to help it be profitable. So in the end, you know, before Ant-Man and Wasp leaves theaters, and, you know, if it's available, like, on streaming and stuff and Blu-ray and DVD... I'm sure it will make Marvel some money, but not as much money. You know, other like heroes like Doctor Strange and Thor, Iron Man and Captain America, and oh, Black Panther and Spider Man. Marvel has a lot of solo superheroes with their own movies. They've all made or will make before their trilogies are done, will make Marvel more money than Ant Man is going to make. So I could understand if they don't make an Ant Man 3, why they wouldn't if financial reasons are the reasons. And, you know, as for storyline narrative reasons, Ant-Man and the Wasp, while it's good, it did seem kind of like a placeholder or a holdover between, you know, the more epic, large-scale Marvel movies. At this point, you know, Marvel is telling, like, these larger-than-life epic stories, and it always has done that. It's not like there's anything new. But it's like the last Marvel movie was Infinity War that came out in May. Then we had Ant-Man and Wasp, which is really Ant-Man 2 that came out in July. And, you know, Avengers 4 comes out in May, next May. So between these two juggernaut movies, we had this one smaller movie that didn't seem that important or consequential compared to what most Marvel fans and, you know, action movie fans in general are waiting for. So maybe they need to figure out a way to make Ant-Man fit, or they, they don't have a plan for Ant-Man as a character himself yet. They have all these plans for other characters more ironed out and for the Avengers, and especially since Marvel just got Fox or... They will, once things get approved, you know, they're probably really focusing their energies, Kevin Feige, and how to integrate the X-Men and Fantastic Four. So they might be backburnering, you know, Ant-Man 3 for a while because they have more pressing matters to deal with first. Like, you know, what they're going to do with the Avengers. And, you know, if they retire the Avengers or focus on a new team, who's that going to be? And how are they going to do it? And these other characters, like the Black Widow solo movie, you know, which one of the surviving Avengers, you know, depending on whomever wants to renew their contracts and who lives in Avengers 4, what's going to be done with their movies continuing? Because, for example, I think they could easily do more Thor movies. I feel that Marvel has only scratched the surface of what they can do with Thor. And, you know, if Chris Hemsworth wants to stay on as an Avenger, I think they can do more. I mean, you know, Thor 4, 5, 6. And I think people would love that. I like Thor and I like the character and I like his movies, most of his movies. And so I'm cool with him being around as like you know a major avenger in the future and then there's you know if chris evans goes away and they kill steve rogers who will be the new captain america will it be bucky winter soldier or will it be sam wilson the falcon because you know in the comics both those guys have been captain america at different times to take up to replace him things like that you know what are they going to do with the mcu in general the core of it is probably a bit more urgent for them to decide then whether or not Ant-Man's going to get a third movie and what kind of plot Ant-Man will have. I will say this though, Ant-Man is going to be around as one of the major Avengers, 
I think, left after Avengers 4. Because neither he nor Hawkeye appeared in Infinity War. And I think that's because there are plans for them in Avengers 4 and beyond. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Ant-Man, whether or not he gets his own movie, he'll show up in definitely more Avengers movies and more pe other people's movies in the future. And I wouldn't be surprised if there might be some kind of a storyline reason where, you know, it's like they have to do an Ant-Man 3 because of all these things that have happened in other movies. It's like we have a popular supporting character who showed up in all these other movies. Why not give him his, his threequel, right? So, you know. I personally would like it if they made an Ant-Man 3. I don't know if they will. I don't think they have plans to anytime soon. But, you know, I like Paul Rudd. I like the Ant-Man movies. So, I'm cool with it. I hope they do it. And I hope this movie, I hope this movie makes more money than like 500 million. Because, I don't know. I don't care how much a movie makes for myself personally. But I know how studio execs think and how the press thinks. And Ant-Man and the Wasp needs to do like a lot better than it's currently doing, I think for them to, for it to have a stronger case for a sequel. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.